Greetings from the GLAD Media Awards After Party. Let's check in with Teresa. How exciting, nominated tonight. Nominated and we won. So it's really a special night for all of us at Univision. Um, our program, which was an hour special on Aquí Ahora, was called El Cuerpo Ajeno in a Foreign Body. Um, won tonight and it was not just a win for our show, it was a win for the entire community because it was the first time that Univision had dedicated an entire hour to this um, topic. And one of the stories, we followed actually uh, the lives of four different people along the transitions. And one of them was Vina Rouge, who's very appropriately dressed in red tonight. Vina, beautiful. Vina. And Vina, we have known for over a year, I love her. And Vina was um, kind enough to share her story, um, open up her heart to us, not just her home, but her heart and share with us everything uh, that occurred to her, dating back to childhood. So thanks to Vina, who made it all possible. And I know this has been a very important year for you, a it year has of transition, it has been. right? I completed a transition, and thanks to you, because you were my angel. Okay. The angel that actually took everything out in the world to educate a lot of people. That was the whole purpose, to educate and hopefully to open uh, the door towards awareness, towards understanding, towards tolerance and perhaps acceptance. Um, so we're very, very proud, we're very happy. And I also would like to include one more person who's standing behind you. Right with a smile, with a smile. Come on over, this beautiful lady was the producer of this special who worked for more than a year to make it possible. Wilnelia, thank you so thank much you. for being there for us. Uh, I could count on her, I mean, I live on airplanes. So <laughs> it was one of these where I knew I could count on her. And and we made it possible. And it's not really for us, it's for the transgender community, the LGBT community out there. We've made incredible inroads today in the Hispanic and the Spanish speaking market. So, gracias de todo corazón. Thank you, Glad. Gracias, Glad. Gracias, you, because gracias. Step by step, no, 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 no. be special, and to you, Teresa, for being my angel. It As was a transgender, it. it's not story. easy to open up and give your life away. But there were two angels, and there's light in the world that make you actually different. And that's one right here and one in the left. Oh, <laughs> thank you, guys, and so thank you, Glad, to make you part of us, because that's a special. And that's. Thanks to you. Love you. And thanks to you. Love you guys and thanks Glad Awards. We are not done yet though because I've got so much more I want to talk with you about. Your story is so beautiful and I want to start with Teresa. Uh -huh. What did you learn from this experience that you didn't oh know God. going in? Because obviously you had to be a caring and compassionate person Absolutely. to want to tell this story. Absolutely. But what did you learn after you told the story? I learned so much that I would need an hour to document it. But I learned that the world is a different place right now. And that different we've got than to you, be a or? different place entirely from what I grew up in, from what my parents grew up in. And I think that if we as journalists start to document stories of real people and real life, that we, we have a job, and that is to not only inform but educate. And what we did is we went beyond just profiling the stories of four different transgender people along their transitions. We also brought in expert psychologists so they, they could talk to the audience and answer questions. And that I think helped a lot as far as educating, informing, and going on to that next step, which is tolerance and hopefully acceptance. So that was our goal. And that's why we're here today. So you know what? I applaud GLAD for everything that GLAD is doing. I applaud you for sharing your story, for opening up your heart. For people like Vinelia, who uh, said, don't worry, you know, I'll take care of it. And you know what, to Univision, who believed in us when I said, we have yes. more than a segment that's five minutes. We have an hour. Yes. And they said, you know what, we're going to do it. And it was the first time in the history of Spanish language television that we were able to do an hour dedicated to this topic. So, gracias Univision, gracias a ustedes, y gracias a GLAD. God bless. Y a mi gente gracias, latina, gracias. de verdad que sí, a ti corazón. Así Toda es. la gente que está en la casa, los adoramos. Now, what did you gain from sharing your life experience? What was the positive aspect from this experience for you? It made me a different person. It made me a person who believes that anything in the world can be possible, no matter who you are no matter where you come from. As a Latin girl, back in the day as a Latin man with machismo, guess what? I'm a beautiful woman, accepted in a nationwide such as the United States, because I can educate. And people like Teresa Rodriguez and Wilnelia 
can take so much people, I mean so much education around the world that anybody can be whoever you really want. If you really want it, you can do it. I did it. Why can't you? So guess what? The world is a small place and you can do anything you want. So guess what? I'm different. Thanks to these people, Univision, Los Adoro, Los Quiero y Mi Gente Latina. Todos podemos hacer lo que queremos. Solamente si de verdad lo queremos del corazón. Mírame. Un ejemplo entero. Clara Words, thank you so much. Thank I can't you. leave this avenue without asking you why was this a story that you could not leave unturned? Why was it so important to you? It's important because it's now. We have to do it now. You know, it's important that people know the story of them because we don't do anything. It's just tell the story. And this is out there. We don't do anything, as I said.